it's Lindsay and I'm back with another video today. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and also The Real Real, and I post videos of unboxings every Monday and Thursday from either ThreadUp or the Goodwill Blue Box. So if you do enjoy mystery unboxings and reselling content, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to hit the uh, bell notification and also the like button for me. Uh, today we're going to be opening another designer box and this one came from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. This is from Thread Up, and you do get seven pieces. It's considered DIY as the items can be damaged and need a little bit of TLC before they can be listed. This does run $120 plus tax. And I ordered this one on May 5th. the top look for you. This box is quite heavy to be honest. So I'm not sure what could be hiding at the bottom but I see some sparkly shoes right on top. These are Jimmy Choo. Very pretty pointed toe. Um, kind of like a almost champagne colored um, glitter. And they're a gold tone heel. Really nice condition. A uh, little bit of wear on the bottom. They're a 40 and a half, so a nice size. They have, um, somebody put that little gripper on the bottom, but otherwise they're in nice condition. The insides could maybe need to be wiped down just a little bit. Some slight wear on the heel on this one, but really nice. I do have another pair of glitter pumps from Jimmy Choo in my closet right now. They're not getting as much attention as I expected, um, but these ones are in a better size and a little bit lower heel, so maybe um, these will do a little bit better. Next, we have a top, and this is from Rebecca Taylor. It's a size four and it is a rental retiree. It's got the little barcode on it. Um, this is kind of a pale pink. Um, blouse and it looks like it has a tear, unless that's supposed to be there, but I don't think so. It kind of looks like it's a keyhole back but it, the placement of it looks really weird. So I think that may not belong. So I will have to research that more, but I think that might be a hole in the back. So that's disappointing. Um, usually the clothes in these boxes are not the best. And I am seeing what's making the box so heavy. <laughs> um, we have a pair of Ferragamos. These are just a really kind of boring style. I've actually never gotten a style um, like these ones uh, yet. Um, they are a, is that a five and a half? Um, they may be a six and a half. It's a little bit difficult to read, but these are the triple A, which means that they're like the most narrow that they make. So those are not great. Um, they are in good condition, um, but just not a great size and with them being so narrow and the style is not exciting. So this is what's making this box so heavy. Um, we have a wool coat and it's a really pretty camel color. The brand is um, Aquas, um, Aquas Cotton. Um, it's made in England. I am not sure about that brand, but the jacket is really, really soft. Just a button up. And it definitely looks like it's vintage. Um, I'm not sure if this is possibly men's or women's. It's 
Wow, this is pure cashmere. 100% cashmere, dry clean only. There is a number that says M54. I don't know if that is a size. So I will definitely need to research that more, but this is really, really nice. So maybe this is something that I would um, go ahead and just send into the real reel, and then I don't have to do anything with it. But it's really, really pretty, and very, very nice condition. So that is great, and we have a couple more things here. Next, we have another sweater. This is Derek Lamb. This is kind of narrow and long, really soft. There is a bit of pilling on it, but I'm not seeing any stains. And it is a size small. Um, yarn from Italy. This is 70% cashmere and 30% silk. So very nice on that top. And we have a scarf. Um, actually, the last box I just opened had a scarf as well. This is um, Diane von Furstenberg. So not the best brand, but it's in nice shape. It feels like it's silk. Um, it is all silk, uh, made in Japan, dry clean only. So really pretty, you could tie that around your hair, around your purse, and I'm getting it caught on these shoes, um, but very nice, nice condition. And lastly, we have a purse. Oops, let me put that box down. So this, I am not sure what brand it is, but it's like a burnt orange color. It does have the authentication tag on it. It looks like Chloe to me, but I will have to open it up. It has this huge lock on the bottom that's extremely heavy. So that's interesting. It is Chloe. And the inside has some marks. Um, it does have a serial number on there, so that's good. The interior is a light color, um, so there are some marks on it, but nothing too bad. I don't see any type of key. Well, here it is. <laughs> this is the key for this huge lock, so I guess it is functioning. Um, yeah, it's kind of weighing down the bag. I don't know if I like that hanging on it like that. I mean, for carrying it, it's adding so much weight. But really, this is in excellent condition. So this should do very well. Um, it is just regular Chloe brand too, not C by Chloe. Um, really nice color. So this was an excellent box. Um, great handbag from Chloe. We had the Jimmy Choo heels. We had the Diane von Furstenberg scarf, the cashmere coat, the Ferragamo heels, the Derek Lamb sweater, and then the Rebecca Taylor um, top that may or not have a hole in it that I need to look into. Um, but despite all of the, you know, these three things not being the most exciting, um, the Chloe bag will more than pay for the box on its own. So this was a really great box. Please let me know what your thoughts are. I appreciate you tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.